Hi, I'm Christopher Prieto. I'm here to teach you some barbecue tips. When I inject in a chuck roll, while I inject down and push up, I stop, I change direction, and then I go in another direction. Push down, stop, change, and go in another direction. This is beef base, beef stock, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, water. My favorite um, base is Miner's. It's got like little bits of beef and it's just fantastic for a beefy flavor. You want this thing to taste beefy, that's the whole goal. Beefy, beefy, beefy. Sometimes I'll add phosphates. Phosphates are used by butchers and basically what they do is they, in general, make your meat juicier. Unlike a brine where it can make it juicier but salty. Butcher came out with the vegetable protein and the phosphate and it sells like crazy. I'll even, if I have a little bit left, pour right over top, use it as the binder. So I'm using the same rub as I do on my brisket, the Dalmatian rub. Uh, Tilt black pepper, salt, granulated garlic with a little bit of cayenne. And with the check roll, there's really no good way of doing this. You just want to put a really good crust of this stuff on. But just like the brisket, I still want to see the chuck roll through the meat. I don't want it like a pork butt where everything's just seasoned out like crazy. So my secret ingredient, which I like on a chuck roll, is instant coffee. Not coffee, instant coffee. Instant coffee just quickly hydrates to water. It's gonna give it both color, sophistication, because that's what a lot of people say immediately when they have it. They're like, mm, I feel fancier just eating this sandwich. And that's because of the instant coffee. 